Every Pony. This is Dashy 101. How to bring you another mobile game and also another Minecraft Pocket Edition build. Yeah. Well, this is a build, but technically last time was a build too, so yeah. But anyway, I'm just going to jump right into this one. I just wanted to say that um I worked really really hard on this one um but uh yeah so anyway i'm gonna cut to the story really fast and then we're gonna get on to the review so previously well three weeks ago i had seen the new ghostbusters movie which by the title you can see it's something related to ghostbusters anyway i seen the movie and I also seen the old movies, but I seen the old movies first. Um, but anyway, um, I saw it, and I wanted to build the firehouse in Minecraft. But I already saw a lot of people already did this on YouTube. So um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. But this time, I'm not gonna take a tutorial on anything. It's gonna be 100% built by me. So, yeah. But anyway, I was hooked into the 2016 movie, as well as the old movies. I thought the new movie was good, but that's your personal opinion. If you guys did not like it, leave it down in the comments below why you didn't like it, or why you did like it. So anyway, without further ado, there she is, and she is a beauty. So... I'm going to give you a 360 of this. There's the side. All the windows are there present. The back's nothing really going on. The tree just randomly spawned there. I don't know why. Um, we got emergency exits and um, a couple more other windows. Then we have the front. So, let's go inside. So first thing you notice is the giant doors that are present on the firehouse. Um, and then I added a plaque to it because there was a plaque on the firehouse. don't know what it said. But this is what mine says. So you can pause the video if you want to see it or you, you probably already read it. Um, yeah, so you got the American flag up there, which I don't know if it was present. But it is there. And I added the sign for Ghostbusters so that's there it's a skeleton head in an item frame I think it looks pretty representable to the actual thing so we're gonna go inside so first thing we are greeted to is this beautiful wall the green and white it's actually that like that in the real firehouse and in the movie um, so that is accurate but mostly we're greeted here by the Ecto-1. Again, this was not a tutorial. I, this was built by me. I used a couple of references. And this is what I got. I think it turned out really nicely. And yeah. And as you can see, we kind of got things thrown all across here. Because it's supposed to be a little messy. And yeah. And then we have the front desk and the back desk. Um... I forget what scene, but it, it's there. And then we have those giant bookshelves, which were in the movie. Um, and I just placed them there. And then this map is not accurate, but I needed somewhere where I knew where I was. So, yeah, it's kind of bleh. Yeah. And then we have the lockers. Originally, I had three, because let me tell you, I based this off of the LEGO Firehouse official set from LEGO Ideas. And there was only three. Don't know why, but there was. So I added four. And there's no names on it because it's been in the new movie, too. So it would just get confusing. I literally could just make the car different, make it into a hearse, because this is an ambulance, an old ambulance, and just say it's from the new movie um and then one thing all firehouses should have is their fire pole and that goes through all three of the levels 
Um, now I know the firehouse has four if you count the roof, but it's there. So, and it looks awesome. And then one thing I forgot to mention is the lights do work on and off, and I want this works in every single room. They are there. So, yeah, it's all controlled by one switch for each light on every floor. And then here we have the fire bell for the Ghostbusters, so they know they got a ghost to uh, go after. And then I forget what this containment is. It's in the movie. Basically what it's supposed to do is when the Ghostbusters catch a ghost, they put it in this machine and it holds it so the ghost doesn't get out. That's what that's for. We go upstairs. Technically, we have the same thing. The wall design is different. This goes for both rooms, uh, the upstairs and then the middle section. Have the fire bell. We have a table now. This is where for their meetings or something like that. I don't know, or somewhere where they can hang out. Then we have like a little library here. I put an enchantment table just for the heck of it, or the heck of it, bleh. But yeah. And then I have an arcade machine again, based this off the Lego one, and I thought it looked really cool. And yeah. And I think it did have it in the movie, I'm not sure. Here we have the bedroom, all four beds, nothing over here, and yeah. And then I have the bathroom. This is what this room is. Toilet opens weirdly, I know. But yeah. And that's what that hole is there for so the light can get in inside there. Because I didn't feel like making another redstone lamp because those are already a pain to make. Especially trying to cover up all the nonsense, like the electrical stuff, yeah. And then here we have an emergency exit. I thought it was appropriate to put an iron door so no one could get in. And it makes it more emergency exit looking like. And yeah. So now we are going to go to the third floor. What happened? <laughs> So I am sorry about that guys. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Alright. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess up here. Yeah. One thing I mentioned in most rooms it has spider webs kind of give it an old kind of wear on it. We have nicer bookshelves. I really like these. And then we have like the little um experimental part of the building that is there. And then we have cauldrons. Really, really nice. No water in them, but yeah, I might add water to them. This is the pool table area. We have our pool sticks. This is where the pool balls are supposed to be go after the game's done, but mostly people leave them in the pockets, and here's the pool table. Then we have the nice front rounded window. For the rounded part, I had to use just regular glass because the glass panes would have not worked and it would look weird. And you can kind of see the American flag outside. And let me know, I'm not sure if Ghostbusters had the flag on there or even if they had the pole. I'm not sure, but on the actual building, it is there. So that's why I did that. And then I just have a nice ding here. A nice portrait of stuff. And then a fire extinguisher because you need those. Especially the Ghostbusters. And this also brings us into another scene. But you guys know what that scene's from. Where they're trying to get photos of the ghost. And they need to really keep this place dark so the photos work. Um, and then that's why I have curtains. To imitate that. And also, sorry if I really don't know too much about it. I probably should watch it a little more so I know where what it is. But yeah. And then we have the fire bell again. So yeah. And now we will go to the roof. And the roof is just basic, guys. It's just... Yeah. Whoa. 
It just has like what roofs would have, kind of like AC. So it is there. I'm not sure if that's appropriate in the movie, but it was too empty. I had to add something, and I think this looks really good. You take that minecart, and it will look like that. I kind of misplaced one, but then I just added a tower for the smoke. One for each floor. So, yeah. So, that is it, guys. Um, I hope you guys liked this um, video. Uh, I really had a fun time making this. And, actually, before I end it off... Fire! Down the fire pole. Beautiful. But, yeah, guys. So, that is my build of the Ghostbusters Firehouse. So if you guys enjoyed this build, let me know what you thought about it. Again, only references were used when doing this. Um, I had a lot of fun building this. Uh, after I saw the new movie, I basically built the exterior and then did the two floors. Uh, the last floor I did the next day and it was basically done and ready um, until my computer went kapoo. Yeah. But I have it back and it works beautifully. Um, yeah, so I am back guys. Dashi 101 is in commission again or I don't think that was the right word to say. Sometimes I just speak my mind sometimes. Sorry guys. But it Dashi 101 is back in production. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah, guys. I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys want for 50 subscriber special. Um, And, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Or hit that like button, whatever you guys want to do. Um... And yeah, so as always, like, share, favorite, and subscribe, guys. And let me know about that 50 subscriber special. Already have plans on what I'm going to do. Uh, people told me what they wanted to see. I gave it a thumbs up. So I like the idea. All right, guys. So as always, I got a dash. Stay 20% cooler. And this is Dashy 101. Signing off, guys. Bye. Hello, everypony. I am back, and you just saw the Ghostbusters Firehouse video that I just did. Um, why I am doing this quick little thing is because I want to give a huge shout-out to... You see this beautiful monitor here? Yeah, this one right here. Right there. Um, my... Buddy Pal, or you could say my best YouTuber friend and friend in real life, um, have given this to me, uh, and his name is Dark X Hawk, as you guys already know. He's been in quite a lot of my videos, um, and yeah, this is awesome. I can now just do more with live streams if they go well. Um, but I think they'll even go better now that I can actually see stuff and I won't have to use my phone constantly. Um, so yeah, I, this really means a lot and I want you guys to go over to his channel and hit that subscribe button if you haven't because he deserves it. He's done a lot. He's been doing YouTube longer than I have been and I think it will just help him out. A lot so if you guys could go over and do that for him not only will you be helping him but you will be helping me guys so thank you so much dark really means a lot and also I did want to mention he has a second channel called dark vlogs um so I will put that in the description so you guys can go check that channel out as well as his main channel guys so yeah thanks again bye guys literally this time